All right, guys, so here's the deal. Christian's had a beautiful gecko down in my snake rack for a few months now. He wants to see it in his room. So we went to Craigslist to find a way to make a bioactive enclosure. Why don't you guys tell us what you found on Craigslist? Okay, um, we found this rock right here. Yeah, it's a cool this rock hide. You can even, like, climb up here and get down. Yep. This uh, hide right here is going to go on a cold side. And this other one is going to go on a warm side. And we got like these little blocks to be like a side of sticks. So the gecko can get on to try to stick the light. We got a screen top and a 20 gallon long tank. How much did you guys spend on this on Craigslist? Um, I have no idea. You have no idea. 20 bucks for the tank. 20 bucks? 20 bucks for the tank. For all of it and some sticks that aren't pictured. 45 for all of it and some extra sticks that are going in other crested geckos tanks. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's a pretty good start. So after you went on Craigslist, what else did you have to get in order to get all your supplies? Petco. This one's from Petco and I have no idea what it is. So. Ceramic heat emitter to Ooh, keep him warm. Fancy, it's it a ceramic heat emitter. It will go on a dimmer emitter. that Danny made in a different video. It's true. And here's all the dirt here. Got some Paralyte. This is a drainage layer. Oh. It's cheaper to go to a store that's not a pet store to get this. Get yeah. some sphagnum moss right from uh, Garden Center. And this is the heat light you got. Yeah, oh, that's a UV is light. This the light for to keep the plants alive. Oh. All right, UV light, cool. Sizes. All right. Why did you guys get live plants for the enclosure? Um, the, for the put in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for looks, we got the plants for looks. Always make sure when you get your plants that you check and make sure that it's safe for your gecko. That way, in case your gecko eats it, yeah. he doesn't get sick. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. Non-toxic. Yeah. Yeah, very important. And the is down there. You go get the nicest kitchen utensils you have and you jam them in a bucket and mix it all together. <laughs> so what have we mixed together with my kitchen utensils? Dirt and a little bit of sand. Dirt and a little bit of sand? Mm -hmm. That way it makes it a little bit less muddy. Bioactive because 
because the cleanup crew bugs clean the poop and the urates and things. You want, I personally use dwarf white isopods and springtails. These are from my crusted gecko enclosure. I borrowed them. Um, the first couple weeks you'll need to spot clean until they reproduce enough to take care of it for you. And then, so over here, he's got his hot hide, and he's got some hides in the middle so he can adjust how warm and cold he wants to be, and then all the way over to his cold side. I have some extra sphagnum moss in here, so it's his humid hide. And then Christian loves this hide in the middle. We're hoping he'll hide in there once in a while so maybe we'll actually be able to see him without having to pull him out. So he's got a cute little marble plant to hide in. Leaf litter is for the bugs. Hide in, chew on. So I use ceramic heat emitters. They do not give off any light, which is ideal because the red ones can actually really hurt your reptile's eyes. They do tend to dry out tanks a little bit, so keep an eye on your humidity. I recommend Accurites. They're like 10 bucks at Walmart. You can have one on each side. I think there's smaller ones you can buy. Um, it shows the temperature and the humidity levels. So one on each side to make sure your levels are right. This is a Slimline Zilla 18 inch T8. I bought the Tropical. As you can see, it's bright. My plants will appreciate it. The gecko will be sleeping. Let's go get a gecko. Yay! Gecko time! Yoo! All right, we're down in the snake room. We got our gecko Oreo. Ready, Oreo? Yeah. I think he's ready. All right, let's go. Okay, so I have a ceramic heat emitter. I love them. They don't give off any heat. <laughs> this is awkward. I don't know what to say. Yeah. All right. So I always recommend ceramic heat emitters. They work great. They don't give off any light. Red ones, blue ones. I didn't know I turned it on. <laughs> 